You get these suicide ideations where you start thinking suicide is the only option and um, that like nothing's out there in life for you, um, nothing's good anymore and you're just kind of taking up space. Yeah, I think a lot of the girls here are probably going to think about suicide at least once in their life, if they haven't already. When we talk about suicide, it's important to uh, not stereotype and to realize that there's a lot of variability in terms of uh, incidents of suicide among the 566 tribes. And Pine Ridge has the you know, highest rate. It's also the most impoverished of all the reservations. And the impact of historical trauma is ever present. I think it's just the fear from our parents that, because my grandmother would not talk to me about things that she would say, no, you don't need to hear those things. You go towards the future now and um, you learn what the white people are teaching you. That really um, just, <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't, I was going to react like this. There's so much pain that just gets passed down. There's not, there has not been enough time to heal. And you get these young ones and they're here and they may not know it, but they're holding all this pain. An intervention that is kind of catching fire in, uh, in Indian country is this digital storytelling. Youth are drawn to it, I think because of the technology, because they think it's neat to learn how to create their story from videos that they can create themselves on their iPhone. It's really powerful, so it's therapeutic in that way as well. No one's life's going to be easy, I don't know. It's just. Not everyone's going through the same thing, so there's probably many reasons that kids feel like they don't want to live anymore. We were um, discussing ways to help our kids because um, it was only just a couple of days before that where we heard of yet another suicide. And I just had this weird feeling, and it was just like it just popped into my mind, math camp. I want to have a math camp for kids. It's the bottom number, the denominator, and how many do we have? Nine. Nine. How many do I have in One. my hand? Page Law, this site here is where we're going to have the um, all girls math camp and a traditional ancient ceremony, and it's known as the um, Tapa Wankayapi, throwing of the ball ceremony. And that's a ceremony that is only for girls. You know, a ball is thrown that is made of buffalo hide. Sounds like a game, but it really is not a game. It's a way that historically Lakota people taught young girls about their power. This is what we're doing tomorrow. We're doing the Tampa Wankayapi ceremony. We have a really strong culture, and I feel like if people learned about like the beauty of that and stuff, they'd probably look at us a different way, because most people look at Pine Ridge and like they pity it and they think oh they're they have a really hard life and it's just ugly there but it's it's not all bad. By strengthening their confidence and feelings they can do math at the same time giving them real connections to their culture and being able to see how special they are to be Lakota and, it, and it's just really a start. It's only a week, but I just want them to leave with the feeling that they can do math, they can do anything. 66! And that they're so special and love to be these beautiful Lakota girls. You may feel that you're not worth it. You may feel that you want to die, but you have to know, you have to think and you have to know that you are beautiful, you know, that you are a sacred being. 
that you are supposed to be here, that you can choose life. Hi, my name is Taryn and I am Lakota. My name is Zoe. My name is Jonah. My name is Wasu. My name is Maria. And, and we, we are, are Lakota. Lakota. <laughs> my name is Malina and I'm Lakota. Hi, my name is Terry. Hi, my name is Deandra. Hi, my name is Fakia. And, and we, we are, are Lakota. Lakota. My name is Hopi and I'm Lakota, but I look white. <laughs> but I'm Lakota. <laughs>